I've just been looking at my whips pile of quilts and they're very big quilts so they are um, queen size toppers so that it'd be about 70 by 70 inches that I've got ready to quilt and I've, they've all got pins in them so I'm up to this um, I'm up to the quilting part I'm thinking I'll leave it for a winter project. I'm procrastinating, I know. And this will be, hmm, quite a few months, let's say nine months of the pins being in. I don't really like to leave the pins in this long. And yeah, I've been focusing a lot on knitting, mainly because it's been warm <laughs> so I'll just um, I'll just show you what I've got here in this pile this is a beautiful big um, black and white quilt that I've got ready to quilt so lovely I love black and white and my girls remember my girls I have done some hand quilting but I need to get on with it they are beautiful. <laughs> yeah, my lovely, that's a lovely quilt. I love all my quilts. This is a trip around the world in greens, K facet. As you can see, I have also um, got a plan for quilting this one. That is a lovely big quilt. My Jacob's Ladders, I think I've got two here. And these have been pinned up for more, let's say, more <laughs> than they should have been. Starting to slip off the couch. So this is a basic Jacob's Ladder block. Goes this way. Ah, no, it doesn't. Sorry. <laughs> I've got it upside down. This is the ladder. It's such a beautiful philosophy behind this um, Jacob's Ladder block. I will get into that more when I quilt and landslide. <laughs> this is the last quilt that I've got to hand quilt. This is a fabulously beautiful quilt too. It's greens. Um, the border was a border print, obviously, and... I love big cats. I love all cats. <laughs> Another Jacob's Ladder that I have started to quilt, but not finished. So that is as far as I've gotten with it. I love this quilt. I don't know what's holding me up. It has a lovely back too. I just need to get on with it. So... <laughs> 
some beautiful projects. Quilting. These are my whips for 2023. Hopefully we will have a good result at the end of the year, but, you know, see how we go. I just thought I'd open up this, um, the big cat quilt and just have a look at how beautiful it is. Just remind myself why I need to get on with it. I'm home alone, so... <laughs> The big quilt is draped over the dining room chairs and table and everything. <laughs> I've used um, this beautiful fabric for all the ladders in the quilt. So, focus, that's it. So you can see where I've done some quilting. The big cats are lovely. I love the black and white um, diagonal um, striped uh, border that I made just from a two and a half inch strip folded in half. I put on the border, uh, the binding before I quilt. Yeah, it's so lovely. Every time I look at it, you know, I think, oh, I should get on with it. But I don't quilt with a um, frame or a hoop just in my lap all scrunched up and it's a bit warm in summer so <laughs> yeah but yeah hoping to get on with this how beautiful it is and the border the uh, border fabric is so lovely too I'm sorry I don't remember what the fabric was yeah beautiful leopards snow leopards The greens are all my greens. I love them. Frogs. <laughs> love frogs. Ah. Oh. Whips. Quilt cool whips for this year, hopefully. Kitty is keeping me company. <laughs> Hi crafting friends, welcome to my podcast. My name is Barbara Radzalikas and I'm Bondi Crafter. I'm doing some uh, quilting catching up. So having a look at the whips that I've got in the cupboard and it's so hot here. It's the middle of summer and whew. <laughs> so I'm, al I'm home alone. I'm home alone. Oh, my hair is doing weird things. But <laughs> I'm home alone, looking at my quilts, quilts that I have to do. I keep putting them off. I don't know why. But um, I've had a look at them, taken them off the shelf, and definitely need to progress. I thought I'd um, also show you this um, flying geese that I'm um, in the middle of doing. So. It is a beautiful, it is a beautiful quilt. Um, I'll just turn the camera around. So this is a quilt top and how I've gotten so far. It's K facet fabrics and a lot of shot uh, shot cottons in it which I think I'm going to um, put another layer of cotton under this before I sandwich it because the shot cotton weave is sparse let's say it's not um, a close weave and uh, they are beautiful and I just love the colors so they are staying <laughs> the geese are flying such an easy block to make. Uh, let me tell you about it. So each block is a seven and a half inch block a rectangle of the main center with uh, squares of the other, I'd say geese wings, <laughs> so on onto the rectangle and just diagonally sewn 
and then I've made um, blocks of fours of each one and sewing those together then did strips going down so you can see how I've pieced it the next step is well I'm going to line it but the next step is the batting and this is the back you can see my beautiful shot cottons you can even see the weave in it, so this is why it needs to be lined, I'm thinking, if it needs, if it would have any longevity as a utility quilt. I'm not going to have it as a wall quilt, it's too big. And I'm sure the grandchildren, one of them, <laughs> would love the beautiful colours in it. So, yeah, this is what I'm thinking. I've been looking through my um, quilting projects and I'm thinking I'm going to have a giveaway this year and I'm thinking it's going to be um, the centerpiece of a holiday table centre. Um, I've English pa paper pieced it, uh, red, white and green and I'm thinking somebody would love to win it, it's one of my subscribers so I'm hoping to put that in next podcast and it's so exciting me <laughs> having a giveaway but i'm sure somebody one of my viewers out there will love english paper piecing and finishing off this lovely centerpiece um, i have pieced english paper piece the top of it so it is just waiting to be finished and as um you know uh, international postage is very expensive and it is a finished um, it is a finished piece top but I haven't finished it I will give instructions for how to finish it and maybe have some extras to go with it but um, that's going to be my big um, winter giveaway this year looking forward to that can hear the fan going in the background it's very warm <laughs> uh, I hope you um, like seeing my whips might keep me accountable and I just need to get on with it. I love hand quilting I love machine quilting also but um, hand quilting is definitely something I like doing in winter um, once I've got the quilt um, basically sewn into the whole quilt sandwiched the binding on it is encased so all I have to do is the little running stitches so I sometimes get overwhelmed with you know with how many projects I have on the well quilting projects not so many knitting projects but how many quilting projects I have on the, on the go at a time it's like painting pictures you know I get to a certain point in one and then oh, I see something else and I just have to start again. So I have, you saw six, six that I've got pinned up at the moment, but there is like another six in the cupboard on the shelf waiting also. So I do love, love them and I hope I just have time to get round to quilting them. Otherwise I might quilt them on the machine though. I really want to hand quilt them. So this is a hand quilting episode. Well, looking at quilt, looking at quilt episode. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye, friends. Please like and subscribe too. I always appreciate my subscribers, my friends coming to visit. It's such good fun. So. Press those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks, friends. Bye.